After being at the forefront of the fitness industry, Rian Stevenson founded Arta that offers functional supplements, targeted nutrition, inspiring seminars, and empowering retreats to improve your well being. Stay tuned for this. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Founded Beauty, a podcast dedicated to beauty entrepreneurs who built some of the biggest brands today and where we learn exactly how they did it. We'll cover some of the most intimate stories, their path to success, and how they overcame the obstacles along the way. I'm Akash Mehta, CEO and co founder of Fable and Main, a modern hair wellness brand inspired by ancient Indian beauty secrets. Building Fable and Main has been an incredible journey so far, and I decided to launch this podcast as a founder, keen to learn and connect with fellow brand founders around the world. I believe in collaboration over competition, and so I'm using this platform as a way to help and hopefully inspire each other in what can be quite a tough and lonely journey. So if you are an entrepreneur or simply just curious how to build a brand, this podcast is perfect for you. So without further ado, it's would like to introduce your guest for today, Rian Stephenson. With her industry experience as a nutritionist, naturopath, and CEO of Cycle for seven years, Rian is a wellness guru with a mission to transform health with her company, Arta. Centered on the importance of nutrition and a wellness lifestyle, Arta encompasses everything from supplements and meal plans to workshops and retreats. With an individualized yet immersive approach to supporting members with their needs, Rian's philosophy of attaching meaning and purpose to your health is so resonant. And I love that Rian is truly cultivating a healthy lifestyle and mindset shift while keeping her members informed, which is now more important than ever. Drawing from her first-hand clinical experience and deep knowledge of functional medicine, each meal plan, supplement, and purpose is clarified and made accessible, making Arta truly one of the most innovative and most needed platforms today. So Rian, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks for such a great intro. <laughs> Well, no, thanks for doing so much. It's, it's, I mean, from the time we've had to got, you know, got to know each other, I've always been so inspired by what you've done. And I just, I'm so excited for our listeners to hear all about it. But before we get into it, the first question I have to ask is, in a nutshell, who is Rian? Oh, who's Rian? Um, so look, I'm, I feel very lucky that I've always been really, really inspired um, and passionate around health and well-being, and that's because of my personal experience from when I was young. Um, so when I was young, I was a very sickly child. Um, I was on antibiotics, you know, four or five times a year. I went to doctors for decades, um, and you know, my energy, my sinuses, my headaches, my gut, pretty much everything that could go wrong, kind of did go wrong. But when we went to doctors, there was no explanation. And so finally, um, my mother decided to take me to a naturopath. Um, and this was after a psychiatrist suggested that perhaps it was in my head. And so we were kind of like, no, 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 this is, this is not okay. Um, and I'm so glad she did because that really transformed my entire life and, and sent me on the path of, where I am now with my, my career, which is um, wanting to help to transform and inspire you to be as healthy as possible. Um, we found out that the reason I was sick was because I had an allergy to casein, which is the protein found in milk. And as soon as I cut that out and kind of rebalanced my system, everything well, everything changed. Um, I started to wake up with energy. Um, my headaches went away. I haven't been on antibiotics except maybe once in about 20 years now. Um, and I realized the impact that, you know, food and what you put into your body has on how you experience your life. And that's really shaped who I am now. I hope that answered your question. I'm not really sure if it did. It's but perfect. Yeah. I, no, and it, and it's, it's, it's really great to see how your childhood experiences with your own health has actually shaped who you are and what you do today, especially with your businesses, yeah. because it's such a prevalent issue that happens with everyone. I mean, it brings me back to my childhood when I was always ill. I just remembered always having a blocked nose, sinus, and it was only later in my life, which is such a shame because you're like, why did you discover this later? Yeah. That nutrition is literally the, the, the real main source of a lot of problems and, and mainly with your microbiome and your gut, yeah. which is obviously influenced by what you eat. Exactly. And when I was doing some, you know, definitely I did some like microbiome tests to see what, like, what, what I should avoid for my, for my microbiome, but also things like intolerance and then I discovered I had oral allergy syndrome mm. and all these things. And you start realizing, oh, but I ate, like, let's say, um, 
an apple or a mango. And I was like, I never felt like anything, but then I was like, but clearly it's the cause of it. Yeah. So yeah, it's really important to look into it. But how did you, I mean, was it just by trial and error, seeing lots of different people and then eventually you found it? Or was it someone who told you, look, really look at nutrition? No. So, um, I kind of went through the clinical sphere of things with all the doctors. So I went to, to gastroenterologists, I went to, to neurologists, they ruled out kind of anything kind of ominous. Um, so finally, by the time my mom took me to the naturopath, we knew all the things it was not. Um, and what she did was yeah. she just did a test of um, food sensitivities and allergies. Now, uh, keeping in mind, I had had a lactose intolerance test done by my doctor, because that was kind of the main thing that they used to look at with milk. But now we know that actually a lot of the um, the allergen profile for milk actually comes from the proteins, right? So nobody had tested the proteins yeah. in milk. And that was one of the first things that she tested. With that, she then also just tested, you know, my levels of vitamins and minerals. She did some tests on my gut. And so we really went with the data first, which was so helpful because, yep. you know, I think one of the hard things about lifestyle and nutrition is because we're never taught it. And because it's not included in, you know, any of the, the, the traditional healthcare that we get, it is a lot of trial and error. And so m many people can lose motivation throughout that process. But I was lucky enough to kind of already have the armory of tests saying what it was not. And then she was, um, really smart with looking at my symptoms and she pinpointed what she thought it could be and it was. And so the fix was uh, shockingly easy when you look at how bad my symptoms actually were. And um, yep. one of the things that really inspired me the most is, you know, at that time I used to swim uh, competitively and I always felt self-conscious because I didn't recover as well as my teammates. I was always really tired. The workouts were always way harder for me. I seemed to try so hard and the results I got never really were in line with where I thought I should be. And within kind of six to eight months with only changing what I ate, so not my effort, not my, 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 my mindset, not my supplementation, I basically went from placing like 52nd to second and first. And, and like, for me, that was just unbelievable. And so you know, I've always had kind of an equal passion for sport and nutrition, uh, but the foundation of your health is what you put in your body every single day. And, you know, we just can't ignore it now. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. And, and, you know, I think that really does having those experiences where you see physically hand in hand, the benefits of those quick, simple, <clears throat> not always simple, but it can be quite simple decisions in just changing of diet, eliminating certain foods. Um, it can go a long way. And I think it's just about you definitely meeting, you're seeing a naturopath and yeah. just uh, taking some time out because a lot of people sit on their problems, right? They just kind of like think, oh, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do the day after. I'll, 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 one day I'll do it. It's like, no, like you will change your life if you do it today just you know you owe it to yourself and your body well we're also told it's, it's normal really like it like oh you have headaches exactly, three or yeah. four times a week that's normal um it's normal to have a sinus infection it's normal to go on antibiotics two to three times a year and actually it's very common but it's not the body's normal state and i remember <laughs> having a um a conversation once with my my roommates in college and someone had asked me for a tissue and i was like i don't carry them and she was like that's disgusting how do you blow your nose. And I was like, well, I don't blow my nose unless I'm sick. And she, she was kind of like, what? And we had this moment where we were like, Oh, wait a second. And it's small things like that, that sometimes make you see actually the things yeah. I live with and have accepted as the norm, low energy, bad mood, you know, horrible period pains for women, um, low sex drive. These things aren't the body's natural state. And so if we no. can help the body get back to where it should be, because you know, the body is, in, in, is incredible. You know from Ayurveda that we have this innate ability to heal if everything is, yes. is in place. And so I think exactly. one of the things I love is when people go through our programs and they're like, oh my gosh. And it, it like their lives change because their energy changes and their mood changes and how they experience the relationships in their life they change because you know that is so intimately based upon how we feel um which is very influenceable 
if that's a word. It, it's it, it's no <laughs> very it's, easily it sure influenced is, and... is probably a better way to say it. And, and it's so easy to go to the excuses of like, I mean, how many people say, oh, but it's just that person's genetics or it's, you know, they're lucky they're born with it. And it's like, actually you can have it if you, I mean, certain, yeah, sure. There are certain restrictions sometimes, but usually, um, the norm is not really what we perceive to be. It's, 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 we can, you know, shift it and change it. And I think that's why I love with what you've done with Arta, which I would love for you to, um, introduce to everyone, um, just in a nutshell from your, um, mouth, what is Arta to you? So for me, you know, the reason I wanted to bring Arta um, to the world was just because I know the importance of nutrition and health. Like we're seeing more and more every year, especially through the pandemic, how important our metabolic health, our emotional health are to not only our personal lives, but to the community as a whole. And I think that until now, you you know, wellness and, and health is still very kind of, um, siloed, right? So you've got like people who are really into fitness or you've got the medicine, but you don't have, um, very many people who are talking about health as a whole and how to cultivate that. And that's something that I feel very passionate about because nutrition and functional medicine and, and naturopathic medicine, as much as I love it, it can be quite, niche only because it's not very accessible. And and so what I I wanted to do was try to find an accessible way to bring this knowledge because the outcomes are incredible, but it's hard to get. It can be expensive. It can be time consuming. So I I wanted to bring kind of the knowledge and the practices of functional medicine to the masses in a much more accessible way and help people really understand their health. So for us, as you've said, you know, it's not just about selling the supplements and selling the nutrition plans, but the support we give to our members, the seminars, you really, you really need to learn about your health to understand it because we're never taught. Right. So there's a lot of people feel bad that they, they, they don't know, but I mean, you shouldn't expect to know this stuff because we are never ever taught about our health and actually yeah. it's such an important part of how we live our lives and how we choose what to eat and how to move and how to to sleep and to to to, to recover that it's just something everybody should learn about um the fundamentals about yeah. how do you feel good why do you feel bad what is influencing your metabolism so i I'm probably going on a bit of a rant now, but what I really wanted was to just bring kind of a functional system um, that was very usable that could also empower people to take control of their health. 100%. And I think like the key thing as well is just that accessibility to wellness and to your own well-being. It's, It's something that many companies, I think, uh, it, it's obviously a, a wider goal, but whether the actual actions show that. Yeah. And I think what you've done with Arta already in such a short time is just really that 360 holistic approach to what wellness is by all these touch points. But also I can tell it's just not tethered to just this. It will probably expand as we change and needs change. So it's just like a, it's, you are facilitating the human's needs for, you know, whatever makes them feel better and be better. And I think that's what is, what's made me so excited. And especially, um, I know we started our first um, kind of experience with Arta and my brand Fable and Main at yeah. your virtual recharge event last year. And that was yeah. incredible. Um, and I learned so much during it. And now you've been very kind to send me your incredible supplements, like your enhanced nootropics and metabolic fix. And I've been using them and absolutely game changing. And so much. I would love to know, um, I mean, it's not, I know anything product related is not easy to create. I mean, it takes formulation years and it takes time and it takes like, what, how did you decide, um, to actually create a brand of, of supplements? Because usually, you know, some p- players in this field might just refer to other companies, right. And say, Hey, they're this in the market. Is it because you felt you saw something missing that you wanted to fill by creating your own line. Yeah. So, so prior to being at cycle, I was actually in clinical practice for about eight years. And when I started here, I was actually lucky enough, excuse me, to work on a product line with a clinic that I was involved um, with. And I found it so fascinating because not only was there such 
a discrepancy in the dosages that you find throughout the industry, but also the quality, um, you know, whether people put things as a single nutrient or a complex. And through my clinical practice, I also saw that the right supplements can transform the, the results, right? So they can really accelerate you on the journey, especially if you're symptomatic, right? Especially for things like IBS, hormone problems, migraines, low, low, low mood. So I, I kind of started thinking like, wow, it would be so cool one day to make my own. I put that aside. I was then in clinical practice and I found it really tough to find brands that I loved that kind of a ticked all the boxes when it came to the, the potency and the synergy of the formulation. So there's a lot of brands that kind of deal with single nutrients. It's a bit reductionist to like just look at one thing and also then to kind of get the full therapeutic effect you need to give you know eight to ten supplements which it's too expensive no one wants to take you know 25 pills a day um so it's something that i found quite a challenge on the flip side a lot of the practitioner brands which are great are hidden away um you can't find them you can't access them the names are su super weird so as a consumer if i were to find it a i would need a clinician to give me access but b i wouldn't understand what they meant so like there's ones with names that are just like numbers and letters and so you, you're just like ah, i don't know what i should do and so so m many people get turned off with those two things and yet I knew that supplements would really enhance my outcomes. So um, that was kind of the thinking then. I actually put together a business plan, you know, almost 10 years ago um, about supplements. And then I met the investors of Cycle and I got the opportunity to run that that business and build that the brand which i loved and it was so fun because also yeah. look i used to swim and i i love sport so that kind of fulfilled a very different side of me but as the years went on i noticed that even though people were still getting fitter and they were falling in love with movement they weren't necessarily getting healthier right so healthier, all these people exactly. were still yeah. having ibs having acne um yeah it definitely helped with their mood probably more than anything else, but they're still having hormonal problems. You know, they still had no help with endometriosis or PCOS or, so I was like, wow, this, this stuff is still there because, because again, like fitness is one thing and it's absolutely important, but it's not the only thing. And you still have to look at your nutrition. And coupled with that, the most common thing I, I've still been asked over the last 15 years is, you know, what should I eat? But, but, but not like the general, like, what should I eat this evening? <laughs> what should, should I eat next yeah. week? And so all of those yeah. things were kind of, they were crashing around in my mind. And I was like, someone needs to do this because like we were seeing 10,000 yeah. people per week at our peak at cycle. And this was before the pandemic, obviously. And Almost everybody I spoke to had one to three things that were that was wrong. So either their IBS, but also eczema and acne, and and this need is just going unfulfilled because they go to their doctor and their doctor says either nothing's wrong, or here's mm. a steroid cream which you can't use that much to be careful, and they're sent away. And and there's this gap of all the symptoms that are basically from an imbalance in your body, which functional medicine is really great at fixing, but you know, the allopathic system isn't set up for. And so I really wanted to create something that um, filled that need. And the supplements, I really wanted them to look fantastic and, and feel like a treat, like a consumer brand that you really wanted to purchase, but also be so um, careful with the quality and the potency and the synergy and make sure that it didn't have any of the fillers that are so commonly used and the additives and, and yeah. just make sure that the outcomes were there. So that that's kind of where it came from.
That's inc- well, and what I love is, and I've been a huge fan of any anything in this in this field when it comes to supplements. I've been trying every single one. I think I'm the perfect guinea pig. <laughs> and having tried yours, I don't feel any like. Sometimes I do get some side effects of like overdosing on supplements. Mm-hmm. Never had that with you, even though I didn't. I took the supplements that you said, but I do also feel like your price point is incredible because you made that accessibility still very much there. Yeah. Yet you haven't. Um, you haven't, you know, sacrificed the quality or the ingredients. And I know that just will, only person that will be affected is probably you yeah, because definitely. you'll get less profit. But <laughs> and that's, my investors. You know, but, like, and your second. investors. But at the same time, you're, you're creating a, something bigger than just a supplement brand, right? And yeah. that's the whole point is you're making a movement. And I think things like that later can shift and change. Sure, you know, that's not a problem. But I think you're doing it the perfect way. And I think as a case study to most companies in this field like Arta is is where it's at and going to that food stuff as well like um it's a very you know you're listening to the market you've obviously been with cycle for seven years and you know you've seen hand in hand with a lot of different type of potential Arta customers right yeah. what are they missing out of that fitness thing that needs to give them that healthier lifestyle and i think they do want what am I having tonight? And I love in your website, you have these incredible photos of like the, the foods of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the week menu. Yeah. What is that? How do you become a member and how does that work? Yeah. So our membership kind of came out of the same need. So, so again, like when I was in clinical practice, you can meet people and you kind of give them the supplements and their program and the, the guidelines of what they should eat. And I noticed that still pretty much every single person was like, okay, but can I have some recipes? And like, as a nutritionist, you've got like a bank of some, but it's not really your job to just create endless amounts of recipes for everyone. Right. So that, that was always hard. And I completely understand, right. Cause we're telling people to eat in a whole new way and they're like, okay, well help me be successful. And so you're like, Oh gosh, well, I, I hear you, but I also don't have time to make you, you know, meal plans 365 days a year. So like that, that is there. And then on kind of the next layer was people I I noticed throughout my time in fitness. These are health conscious people who, who kind of get the foundations of what they should eat, but they were all like, yeah, but like, what, what do I make? I don't know how to, how to cook it. Like I I don't have the ideas to be, to, to, to sustain this. I don't know how to actually put this in to, to practice for more than just like one, one week because you can buy like a, a one week plan almost anywhere right but then it's like how do you incorporate that into a lifestyle where it's not a cleanse it's something you can that you can actually sustain and then the third layer was I became a mother last year um and as I was yeah. trying to take care of my baby and like cook for her and decide what she could eat and then I had to cook for myself and my husband I find it exhausting I find it totally exhausting to think about what to cook every single day for all yeah. these people. And I know exactly what I should cook. So I was like, if I know this, like, uh, uh, like no problem. Everyone else is also going to be having such a hard time with, with this. So one of the things I wanted to do with the membership was to create an ongoing meal plan and it can suit you at kind of any part of your need state, right? So if you're not healthy yet and you're really wanting to get healthy, you can follow it to a T. Um, if you're already pretty healthy, but just need more, need more ideas, need, need more kind of, um, of the inspiration of what you should eat, you know, in between your, your, your social life that's there. And then if you're someone like me, who's just like, somebody just tell me because I can't think about anything else. Like my head is full it's there as well. So like, I just wanted the resource there to give them the consistency and the sustainability that we all want. And then on top of that, what we've layered in is the education, right? So every month we've got a member forum with myself where people can learn about a really important topic with their health, but also ask me questions. And I think, again, that that's one of the things, not only for accountability, but just to understand your own health. That's one of the things that's going to be key to to people being successful with whatever their health, their health goal is. And then they, they also get a discount on our supplements. They get a a credit yeah. to the, the, the retreats. And I wanted it all to cost less than it would cost to see a nutritionist 
once, right? So the full oh, year plan amazing. is only 115 pounds. Monthly, it's only 12 pounds. And the amount of content, the amount of knowledge, the amount of recipes that you get, I think, you know, I personally think is incredible value for money. And so I really wanted to take away the barriers of kind of having to pay 250 pounds per visit if you wanted to kind of seek nutritional advice. Yeah. No, and I think that's where you've built that ecosystem to be connected yeah. and it allows people to see the added benefit because if they're scared of just trying a supplement or it doesn't yeah. work and they just, at least you've, you've made them feel more comfortable with the whole experience. And I think that's so important, but talking about retreats, um, I mean, definitely we need to organize one day a fable and main one there because oh, it's definitely. absolutely beautiful. <laughs> um, can you tell us more about what the retreats are? Yeah. Look, I've always been such a fan of the retreat environment because um, we get total control over you, right? And I mean that in a positive way because when you're in London, when you're in a busy city, it's so hard to just switch off and really take care of your health. And the fantastic thing about going to a retreat is, you know, we control every part of your environment and it's completely set up for you to feel incredible. So from the food to the treatments, to the nature, to the hiking, the movement, it's all kind of in place to, to kind of show you what you can achieve in only, you know, five or seven, seven days. And like, it's pretty wild how well you can feel in such a short amount of time. And so to give people that some people come because they, they need that kind of intensity of the quick fix, but actually because they see such positive results so quickly, they're then inspired to change some of their behaviors that maybe could be contributing to their ill health because they see that actually it's achievable to feel fantastic just through moving your body, you know, getting enough sleep and eating great food. And so we really love the the retreat as kind of an immersive side of Arta. And for those people who feel like they really need that kick, that time for themselves to focus on their health, to get away and reset and then come back and then they can kind of engage with the the membership or the, the nutrition or the or the supplements or not, right? I, I mean yeah. You can do whichever part you like, but the thing is the, with a retreat is so many people have never, ever just taken time for themselves and they don't understand, or they, they don't know how good they can feel. Um, and so that's probably one, one of the things we love most about that environment. Uh, definitely. I mean, what, one thing else as well, I would say to people is hundred percent, like when you go on arta.co and I'll put the link in the summary do check out the membership because you will see the whole benefit of the 360. But I love, and this is how, when I, when you guys asked me to send some of your products, I did the consultation yeah. such a, and I even told, um, I, I spoke to the, the team and I said, this is such a like very well thought out consultation form. It was really clear. It was, and, and it allowed me to choose the four products or, you know, whatever that I would be suited for. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that you just, and it's free. So I love yeah. the fact that you've done that. Oh, so, um, uh, really did it take a lot of time to craft that? Or was it just your experience in or your history in, in the industry that knew how to do that? Yeah, kind of both. Like I, when I, um, was trying to think about what kind of a tool would help the consumers to understand what they need, because what we think we need, it is not always what we need, right? Because yeah. like I said, we haven't been taught kind of what are the root causes that are contributing to the imbalances. So it's really easy to pick supplements based on things we like, like skin or <laughs> weight. But actually, if you're looking at the root cause, you might need to take something to 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 totally different to what you think. So I, yeah. I wanted to make sure, A, that people had a guide so that they felt like, they knew what they should take, but B, it also helped you to, to kind of take away supplements that might not suit you, right? Because I think that's as yeah. important. We, we can't all just take 100%. everything. Um, yep. And so I crafted that kind of from what I would ask people in clinic. You know, it's obviously a, a much more scaled back 
version, but it's still things you yeah. would kind of make sure you go through and set it up in a way that hopefully helps to identify kind of the root causes and the supplements that would be best to treat those. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you can pick any kind of any need state, but the, the survey will kind of only serve you up to five, the more need states you pick, right? So if you say, well, I want to fix hair, skin, nails, gut, you know, blah, blah, the more the quiz will serve you, but we want to make sure that people try to focus only on their top two to three, because you'd be shocked. Most people yeah. have, you know, four or five things. And so it's, yeah. it's a lot. Um, so you can yeah. go on the, the website, take the consultation, pick your kind of top two things. It will also ask you at the end if you're taking any medications, because again, um, you want to make sure that Makes none of the sense. supplements you're taking have interactions there. And hopefully mm -hmm. it should help you kind of pick the right ones for, for your goals. And I think it's really like nice that you guys are not focusing on like overselling, but right selling, because there is that point of like also allowing the products and the supplements to prove itself, you know, test, see the difference and yeah. see, you know, you have to sometimes tr like try it, yeah. uh, monitor it. And then like we do the same when it comes to allergies and stuff, you know, totally. it's like just first one by one, introduce that in, yeah. then take it out then introduce this. So it's the same thing. And you've, you've kept all those same traditions that, are, you know, a physical consultation and the really expensive things that we would normally sometimes be scared of or can't afford to do. You made it very accessible for everyone to still experience that. And I think that's the best part of it. Um, oh, great. So great. I would love to know, um, you know, in your mind, obviously there's things we can't, completely control whether it's the the pandemic and yeah. lockdowns and this and that but what is sort of the future and then well let's say this year 2022 what what is Arta going to be focusing on and um yeah pioneering well we we just launched kind of um in q4 of last year so this is really still our first year our goal really is to focus yeah. on you know making sure people hear uh, about us learn about the brand, we really want to collect as much information on the results and outcomes that people are getting to help show yes. kind of the efficacy of the product. So really building that bank so people can start to hear about it, but it's based on, on actual outcomes, not just me saying it's been, it's fantastic. We really want to kind of build the knowledge base of our membership. So we've got some pretty exciting um, seminars, uh, coming up, the next one is on intermittent fasting and metabolic flexibility. The one after that is about hormone health. So really starting to bring awareness to all those really important topics that help to, help to, to influence health. Um, and then for 2023, we'll probably look to, to bring in a few more product lines um, and look at the other maybe uh, – the other countries that we could perhaps expand into. We've already had s s some interest from people in the States and Europe, which is fantastic. So we'll just really push that forward. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I'm actually going to sign up to the intermittent fasting. How, how does the, the workshop and the events work? Is it like um, uh, an online Zoom that you a Zoom link that you'll come on and and you can watch it later if you can't make the yeah. Is it a so live right stream? now they're all over Zoom just because of the current situation. Um, of situation. course, we'll love to do some in person in the future, but um, they're on Zoom. So we encourage people to, to join them live just because it, it it's nice to be a part of the conversation and get to ask and the Q and A. Yeah, yeah but exactly. yes, if you sign up, you can watch it kind of at at any time. Um, members, of course, get a discount on them, but they are pay as you go. Off, so, which is good. <laughs> so, um, there you'll, you'll get your intro pack, you'll get a worksheet, you, you'll get the, the zoom link. And then a, afterwards we send around the recording to make sure that people who didn't get to come or maybe something came up, get to watch it still. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and you know, one thing before we go into a bit more, just, uh, you personally, Rian, I, I do want to touch a little bit on cycle. Cause I think what you've done there during your seven years is just absolutely incredible. I mean, Thank it just so is much. a testament to who you are. And I mean, cycle has been my, I remember I used to work in Estee Lauder and Mortimer oh, street, right, but before yeah, that right I used to just, it was just down the, down the street, but I used to be a huge cycle. Like, I mean, 
couple of times a week. Yeah. Uh, I, it was just like my second home and I loved it. And mm-hmm. um, for anyone who's, we have a lot of listeners in America, Cycle is like, I guess you could say, uh, I, I, okay, shooting the messenger, but I say it's like an elevated soul cycle. And yeah. it's just a really amazing um, uh, studio, fitness studio. So, you know, what you've done there, just huge, huge um, congrats. Thank you, you so be, much. What were some you. of the, the best memories for you in creating cycle? Look, I think one of the things that was just really exciting for me was to kind of build the excitement around fitness, right? Because like when I moved here, yes. I'm, I'm from Canada. I moved here 16 years ago now. And you know, people used to make fun of me for, for exercising. They were like, you like to exercise. This is so strange. And it was still just such a niche thing. There was no boutique fitness. Um, you know, after I had been here for a few years, the berries first opened, but I mean, there was really nothing fun, nothing that made fitness cool. And, um, people still kind of only equated fitness with weight. So like they went out and did something bad, therefore they had to punish themselves and work out. And it was just this really negative environment, which was so strange for me because I was an athlete, you know, fitness is where I found my strength. I found my confidence. I found my friends, you know, I would often go play tennis with friends and then go out or go to spinning and then go out but like here when I first got here that 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 was such a foreign mentality so what I just loved was seeing that the evolution of people kind of working out as a chore to working out as a passion and I I love that people really got hooked on you know that transformative power of movement and how it can make you feel and understanding that actually it's not a punishment. It's something that you need and will just elevate your life. And so there isn't kind of one thing, but that was just the overall thing oh, about amazing. it that I loved. And then like, I loved t- t- to teach. I still taught till the very end. Um, it, it was a passion of mine. I, I loved being in that room and kind of really, um, connecting with the community, which I think is rare for a lot of CEOs. Um, so the yeah. whole thing which is great I, I mean every single um instructor whether it was like kevin and <laughs> i know you have olive and you do all they all like just speak so highly of you as a ceo it's oh, like you. as if you were just like another instructor a friend it was like there was no sense of hierarchy for yeah. them and i just that was such a one of the inspirations for me i remember like when i had kevin as my personal trainer i was hearing about you a lot and i was like that's the kind of boss i want to be oh, you I know? Like so thank you um so yeah, really, really kudos to you. Um, but you know, now going into sort of um, before we go into the fire run, I would love to just know a little bit about your um, your like personal rituals for success. Like anything you do in your day that keeps you um, motivated, empowered. It could be like micro practices or daily routines. What what do you do? So to be totally honest, like my routine went out the window when I had a baby. I think that yeah, when you imagine. have a young young child. Um, just yeah. having consistency. Your routine is their routine. You're, you yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, yeah, you just try to manage their mood and their their energy. But um, the things I know I need for myself is like, look, I need to eat really well. And I found, you know, this especially to be true since I had her and I have less time to exercise now. Um, and I just feel like if I don't eat well, I'm unhinged. Like my energy is not good. My mindset is not good. You know, you go through swings. So food, um, as I say with Arta is kind of the foundation. Um, movement, I need to move every day, whether that's walking to and from work, or a, an actual workout. I work out far less than, than I did when I was in fitness. But again, that that's just a product of wanting to spend that time with my baby. Um, and really, yeah. like, I just need that time f- f- for myself. I'm quite introverted. So like, I get energy when I have time to recharge or to sh- shut down. So I think, as, as you probably know, as a founder and CEO, it, it's so hard not to just be always, always on. Um, and when yeah. you have a new new business, there's always something you can do, right? Like there's never, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm done. Um, you can always yeah. do more. And so really setting boundaries yeah. with your time and your energy, I think are important, whether you're a CEO or not. But I mean, um, yeah. I've really become 
much better now at kind of certain times where I'm just not on email and my team knows now, like, do not call me between six and seven uh, uh, unless the sky is falling. Like, because I'm doing my bath time and I want to make sure that when I'm with her, I'm present, right? Like I want to be with her and have my phone off and not be, be, be panicked. So really just setting the boundaries. I I think the idea of having work-life balance is kind of, overrated if i'm totally honest like yes you have to cultivate balance but there is not a lot of work-life balance at certain stages of your life and it's about accepting that and optimizing it right so like how can i feel my very best and then of course i take supplements because they just help me like i don't sleep a ton i'm stressed i work out a lot and i want to stay on top of it i want to be in a really good mood with a lot of energy so I know that when I support m- my body with that, it helps. So um, it's really just about cultivating mm-hmm. all those things that you know make you feel good. I'm not the type to kind of want to eat badly or to have lots of alcohol if I'm feeling bad because I know I feel worse. Okay. <laughs> and exactly. I think it takes people a you lot of time know. to get there. But I've certainly yeah. noticed since I had a baby, like my tolerance for alcohol is almost zero now zero. not because yeah. i judge it and i think it's bad like i mean it's obviously not healthy but i used to have f- far more but i just find now you know i sleep way less and when there's a crying baby like i mean i just it's just it's not cool to be hung over when you're trying to take <laughs> care of her because i just I even, no even uh, and to yourself you know you'll know how you feel in the morning and if you haven't slept much anyway and you, why do it to yourself sometimes so it's it's that mindful sustainable thought yeah. process of you know putting ourselves as well first and we're like do we really need that well i think that's like key to any part of your health so many people think like oh well, i can't have this because someone told me i can't but actually if you flip that mm. and say like, I don't want to have this because I know it makes me feel bad. It's so much more empowering and you're going to not feel so, um, so bad about not having something. So many people are like, don't you miss ice cream? And I'm like, no, because it literally makes me vomit. Like I, I have an allergy yeah. that makes me feel unwell. So, I mean, I have found food <laughs> that I absolutely love that I enjoy and I don't feel yeah. like it it negatively impacts my health and everyone can get there. It just takes time. And we're just inherently a little bit, um, we need to be more patient, right? Because, and I get it, right? Like I, I make a decision that I want to feel good and lose weight and then you want it on day one. So like the idea of it taking six weeks or eight weeks or one year is like, I can't cope, but actually, Being healthy really is about making the changes and then building upon them as you get to know your body. And there's no better feedback than your body. Um, So you really need to tune into that and understand like, well, actually I ate this and it doesn't matter if it's a food that's seen as healthy or not. If it makes you feel bad, don't eat it. (laughs) I mean, it's, Literally, like, you've answered the question the best out of everyone. Because I'm, like, oh, I'm not surprised because of your history in, in the industry. But it is such valuable advice. I think a lot of people can listen to that and be like, very simple things, but it's so important just to... And I think what I especially loved is the fact that um, just set those boundaries as yeah. well, because we we tend not to do that. And, and uh, especially if you're always on in any career you are in, um, that work-life balance is a bit of a myth. And I kind of say it like, it's okay to be a bit of a myth because, um, you know, you work sometimes the average person or whoever can work, uh, you know, nine to five is what people say, right? Whatever it is. But that's still a lot of your your chunk of your day. Yeah. Um, so I just think like you have to make sure you, you enjoy the moment by putting those boundaries in any point of the day. It doesn't have to be work. It doesn't have to be at home. Yeah. Just to be thinking about you, so, you know, whether you're taking your supplement at 1 p.m. or it doesn't have to be always in the morning and p.m. It could be whenever you need yeah. it. Just listening to your body, yeah. listening to your mind yeah. is so important. Yeah. And one, one of the things, you know, we've been really good at with Arta um, is setting those boundaries and holding the team accountable. So like one, one, one of the things we decided was, you know, no emails or texts for work past six o'clock at night. Now that sounds easy, but it's mm. actually, it's not easy at all. It's, it's not, it's, and it's, it's so especially hard. not easy for a startup. And we were like, no, no. texts, no emails on weekends. Like we need to be really 
really set mm. with this. And it took a few weeks, right? Because we're used to just, you know, I thought of something, I'll send an email. And, you know, yeah. when when you get that, what, whether you want to engage with it or not, it's very hard to ignore it. So we set those boundaries. And then we said, look, if there's a launch, then fine. We'll say from this Monday till next, we're all on and that's okay. But yeah. then once that's done, we switch it back down. And that, that's that been yeah. hugely impactful for myself, for the team, for my family, yeah. for their lives, because it's hard, right? But, you know, I we are a mm. wellness brand. So we want to also be making sure that if you're working for us, you're feeling well. Um, it's not yeah, just that's about, so important. you know, <laughs> sales, yeah. sales, 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 sales. Like well working. You, you... And that's so important because it's, it's, and it might not be, it's kind of like your, your eating, you know, or your, your health is that you, you, you don't realize it short term, but long term, there will be side effects. And mm. I think it's very important to, yeah. to put those things in place because, um, it is actually very easy to just work. Um, and, and my team, I mean, I need to do that. So what you've inspired me is just like, go to my team now after and be like, guys, no emails after X. It's hard. Like, it's, it's, just, really it's, hard. Not, it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. And so I hard. still work at night, right? Because I've made the, like, I've made the call that I really want to be with my daughter from six until like to, to, to feed her and to do her bedtime. So, but that's not yeah. my team's fault. So like, just cause if I don't get yeah. my work done that day, but I want to see my baby, I'm not going to then write them at night. So it's about like, how do you manage your time so that that works? But then if I do work at night, because again, like, like, you know, as a founder, there's always stuff you can do. I'll write an email, but I'll yeah. schedule it for the following day at nine. So yeah. it's not that you just need to sit there with, your anxiety about all these tasks you want done or this idea that you've had, but schedule it. Like you can schedule it to go the following day. And so we've done that. Yep. And it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing the impact it's had both on me and them, which is great. Um, so I'm so glad to hear. And I think it's definitely will hopefully help many other people listening to, um, put some practices in place for 2022 yeah. where we can just be a bit more mindful and, and think about the wellness and the well-being of even the team and the company long yeah. term. Yeah. So that's very good. Um, before we go into fire round questions, um, I do ask all our guests, it's yeah. sort of like a, an, an anecdote of, um, imagine you're know, traveling's opening up, but oh. uh, security is being really tight and they're saying, Rian, you can travel with only one supplement range. Yeah. What is that go to one? It's even for people listening. What is that one go Go to for Rian, not for them, but for Rian. That is um, your must. My must supplement is definitely Metabolic Fix. Um, so this is our top seller. I made it because um, so many people um, in this this day and age are suffering um, with kind of imbalances in your blood sh sh sugar. I think that when you travel, it's especially hard to know kind of when you can eat, what you can eat, um, and keeping your blood sh sugar on track is one of the best things you can do for your energy, for your mind, for your body. So metabolic fix would be my number one for sure. Amazing. I mean, I love enhanced nootropics, but that must be because I'm biased also to ashwagandha. You know, my ashwagandha stand. Well, that would but, be um, my second. You but have, uh... If I had to pick only one. There you one. go. So we covered it together. Yeah. So, we'll travel enhance... together. I'll, I'll give you. Yeah. yeah, we can share. Um, we can share. Enhanced nootropics and metabolic fix are my two favorites. Um, enhanced nootropics just because look we burn through our b vitamins we burn through our, our magnesium kind of with the the stress the exercise the coffee the alcohol like it is just one that i think so many people would benefit from um magnesium is a, one of the most common uh, things that we're lacking from our diet. And I feel like keeping your mood positive and your mental state very, very positive is one of the most impactful things you can do for everything else too. Because when you think about why most people have a hard time staying healthy, it's because they lose the motivation or they're anxious yeah. or something's happened that's caused them to feel too stressed out. And managing the stress response is so important for your overall health that yeah. that is another one that I would just always have on me. I take it. Th those are the two that I consistently take. 
Amazing. Well, fire round question. So first thing okay. that comes to your mind, um, what's another wellness brand or beauty brand that you're currently loving? Fable and Maine. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, yeah, that, that, I, I'll, I'll transfer you the money later. No, I'm no, um, no, no, when, no, no. But with, like, I mean, That's so good your, to hear. Your hair oil. So we oh. used it for um, the retreat last yeah. year and like we're obsessed. No. If I am not choosing Fable Man, I, yeah. I would say the Grown Alchemist brand. I love, um, love. their skincare; so natural. I love their packaging. Yep. They were one of kind of the brands that we were really inspired by, um, yep. and I just love their ethos. I love their products. I really feel like my skin has been um, been really, or sorry, has I'm um, transformed since I started to use their products. Yeah, no, I love Green Alchemist. Love it's, it's in my Equinox gym, and I've just been. That's when I discovered it, and I was like, oh, I love it. Oh, it's so, amazing. Um, I love it's it. It's such a good brand. Uh, what's yeah. a guilty pleasure of yours? Cheesecake, but <laughs> I, it's it's homemade. I'm sorry, I'm being Ooh. honest. Um, so because obviously I have the dairy allergy, my yeah, husband is like has the biggest sweet tooth of anyone I've uh, I've ever met. So at first, there's a lot. <laughs> of tension because I'm obviously like, no, we shouldn't have some sweets and he just wanted it. And so what we compromise is that I just bake a lot more. And so nice. I make a vegan one made from a kind of your cashews, oh. your coconut oil, your dates. So it, like, it's all super healthy. It doesn't spike you and it's so rich. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. I love it. That's my, Oh my, my gosh. Can you sure. find out? I, I don't know if it is on the, the menus, but was there, is there a chance that will be featured in Arta? The recipe? I will blog about it. Okay, and blog about it. You. Amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Thank I you. love it. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, what are you currently watching or reading? I am watching Emily in Paris speaking of guilty pleasures. <laughs> it's a great um, show. It's super fun. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. It really helps me to switch off. Um, and reading, I'm reading science books. I'm, I love to nerd out on kind of the latest in nutrition and functional medicine. So it's not probably very interesting. Um, no, nice. I yeah, love that. That, that, that's where I spend most of my time in books. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, what's your favorite social media platform right now? Oh gosh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can, most can people still prefer. One? Yeah. Let's skip that one. I mean, some yeah. people, some people are like Instagram, TikTok, but some people are like, I don't even know. I don't, they're all like, I, I mean, try to Instagram avoid them all. Is, I use yeah. Instagram because that's what for we work as well. It's work. good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. I'm not like a huge social media buff. You know, I feel yeah. awkward taking pictures of myself. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> I love, I love Instagram for our brand. Yeah. I like Pinterest for personal use because again it's just such a great place to go for for inspiration yeah. so i guess i guess i'm still i'm still old school I yeah <laughs> i love that uh do you have yeah. like a favorite mantra or like a motivational quote that you that is in your head or you love saying to yourself um one of the things that somebody said to me once and it was a very good friend of mine which i I really love, and I use it a lot, is you can't eat an elephant in one sitting. And I love that because really big things happen, right? And then mm. we, we're we so hard on ourselves to to process them quickly or to get over them fast or to get it done now. And actually, that always reminds me that th things take time and yeah. you know when when shit happens you just need to be patient and like it's yeah. a process and it's okay and it's i think okay. that's such a great saying because whether it's your personal life whether it's a breakup whether it's work it's so true and we mm -hmm. we usually suffer because of the pressure we put on ourselves or because we think we're too sad or we think we haven't done something enough but actually things yeah. take time and, and that's okay so that that's, that's okay. one that, that i just love Oh, I love, I never heard that. And I love that. So it's going to be in my I've head. Thanks for that. Either. And oh, um, I love that. my friend said it when I was going through a breakup and I was like, yeah. you know, still sad eight weeks afterwards. And she's like, you guys were engaged. Like you can't eat an elephant. It's so, so, so I was that's like, so oh, good. It's like, don't, don't try to make sense. you, you're not going to tomorrow. You won't feel necessarily better. And that's okay. Like it takes time. And that's exactly. such a good it's advice. A process. It's a process. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. And last question is, if you weren't in the, the beauty, wellness, fitness space, what would you be doing right now? Oh, Lord knows. Um, I'd probably be a chef. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I yeah, can see that. I, love I mean, to cook. would you be I more of a cooking. pastry dessert chef? But not for you, I guess, because you don't really, you're more of a, I think the you're, you're not really into the, the dairy. Yeah. But what would you be? What kind of area? Um, I would just love to be a super inspiring, healthy chef that took Help kind chef. of all of the comfort foods, but made them nutritionally sound, but also taste incredible. Or oh, I'd be it. some kind of like a, a random ski instructor. I mean, who knows, but <laughs> something with that. food or outdoors, yeah. a hiking guide in the Dolomites. I mean, I don't know if you took away. I mean, away, that would be everyone's dream. Oh, imagine making right? up like some just Dolomites nature, every day. Nature, nature, nature yeah. from Canada, just wanting to be super oh. simple, have a great time outdoors. Maybe I'll i'll do that next yeah exactly you can always exactly. i say reinvent yourself this whole like your life is for constant reinvention and that's a beautiful thing you can always have many lives in one so yeah it's why amazing. not um but it's been such a pleasure to have you Rian, and um learn all about arta and i cannot wait for its future i know it's new and it's just gonna really take over the whole industry i can't wait for it so where oh, can thank everyone you so find much, and thanks for having me no, it's been absolutely my pleasure. And where can everyone find Arta and yourself if you want to share, but like mainly the brand, where can they find you on socials and your website? Yeah, so our handle is at Arta Health and our website is, is arta.co, so A-R-T-A-H dot C-O. Um, and you can f follow us there. We have all of our information on the supplements. We have the consultation that you can take. You know, we'll have all of our upcoming seminars and master classes there. So it's a great place to go and just get inspired. Amazing. I'll put all the links so everyone can click. Thank you. Uh, do check it out. And I can't wait to organize a lot of really cool stuff with Fable and Main and Arta. And uh, yes. I'm just a huge retreat, fan of your retreat. What you've, retreat. We're doing it. And um, I hope to see you. I'll see you very soon anyway in London. So yeah, we'll catch up. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.